what's up everybody welcome back to the channel hope everybody's doing well anybody who's been following this channel knows i've been trying to get this interior together for a while so this car originally came with the all black leather interior and i got lucky on these and found these at a, a auto racker they were dirty and everything i just had to clean them up and i found some uh some uh, cleaner for the uh, for the suede, and I'll show you guys that later. I'm gonna have to redo them again, obviously, you can see. But I got lucky on these, but there were some other parts that were missing. You can see I still need like steering wheel, brake handle, the knee guards, and stuff like that. But I had a shop, you can see, that did the uh, headliner for me. And they did the solid suede here, and the same perforated suede in the center as the center of the seats and the door panels but uh he's been having the shop hasn't been able to do anything else as of late because uh he's just been having some uh some uh, personal issues to where he just can't do a lot of work right now if any at all but uh so i've been trying to uh still look for parts uh I, I tried to get these done in the suede, but the way these are from factory, I mean, every place I went, even other shops said they couldn't do these in the suede. They said the only way they could do them is make a cover to go over it. And I didn't think that would look good because it had this. So I was trying to find something. I found these uh, in black. So I just put these in and these parts too in black. So I just put those in for now until maybe I get lucky and find somebody that can do them or I might just have to uh, get these covered or something in the same suede or something. But uh, you can see I still needed the steering wheel, this, this. So I've been slowly finding those parts online or at like an auto wrecker or just having them come from out of state or something like that if I find something in real good condition. And I got some of those parts, so we can go uh, take a look at those right now and then do an install. And then also, I have some uh, products that are like a must have for any TT owner. And I'll show you guys after we do the install and everything, so stay tuned. All right, you guys, here we go. This is what I found. Uh, the steering wheel came out of the car and this brake handle came out of the car that I got the uh, the seats out of and uh, the steering wheel wasn't in bad condition but uh, you can see the brake handle was in pretty good condition and then these headrests I found later I did get the headrests out of that same car that I got the seats out of but they were like real bad but I got him anyway, and I took him over to the interior shop. But like I said, he just haven't been able to do them. And the, uh, the knee bars, too. Uh, not these, but another set I got out of the same car. They were same condition, not good, scuffed up and everything. So, But like I said, he hasn't been able to, to do them. So anyway, uh, I looked up on these at an at a, at a, uh, auto wrecker. And they were in pretty good condition. They, the seats weren't though, but these were in good condition. I think they were in a convertible actually, which is surprising because this is the part that gets beamed by the sun and the, and the seats were just a mess. So uh, I found uh, these online actually. I'm sorry, not the, not the headrest, but the uh, knee bars and these. I found these on eBay and uh, I couldn't find any more. The ones that I did find, when I looked at the pictures, they were either scuffed up or something. And you know, just, it would look good in, on one part, but not good on another part, stuff like that. But uh, I found these on eBay and I talked to the a guy that was selling them and he said that these were in real good condition, but you know, you can't always tell from the pictures. So he sent me more pictures. And I was telling them I only need these 
and but he said he didn't want to separate them because these were in good condition too but i couldn't really tell but i'm glad i got them because they they're not you know really don't have any scratches or anything so i just went over them with some polish and cleaned these up and they came out pretty good but uh he sent these to me from canada they got to me i think within like a week so i put some uh leather cleaner and stuff on these and you know they came out pretty good and then also uh the steering wheel had this but you can see it's kind of you know it's kind of scratched up so i got another one but what i didn't realize when i got this one was this one is actually for an s4 i don't know if you can see that but it says s4 on it yeah you can see it right there but i didn't realize it i thought i thought it said s line so um, I bought them a while back, so I can't remember how long ago it was, so I'm going to see if they'll let me return it and get the S-Line one. If not, I have a friend who has a, a B5 S4, but I don't know if he has a sports steering wheel, but I'm going to see if he can use it, and I'll probably sell this to him and buy the S-Line one. But uh, this is it right here, so... We can go ahead and install these and then I'm also going to show you those other products that I was talking about that uh, every TT owner needs to have or know about and then we'll go from there. So stick around.
Dang, I just got a surprise. I was trying to, I was getting ready to do the steering wheel and this one is different. You can see the horn and stuff is different and then the inside is different too. But I could have sworn I got this from a T, from a, a, a TT, but it might've been an S4, but I could have sworn I got this from a TT, the same color and everything. But uh, I got another solution, but this is gonna come later, but I'll show you guys, show it to you guys uh, in a little bit. All right, you guys, we got the headrest, the handbrake, and the knee bars, and the, the new frames in. Not happy about not being able to get the steering wheel in, because that's kind of, that would kind of been the centerpiece, because you see the uh, dash is mainly all black. So, but, got an idea to try something that I was gonna try anyway uh, one thing though I was thinking though even with the steering wheel was there still needed to be something to kind of bring the rest of the color all together so what I was thinking was getting some floor mats with the same color piping but I've been searching around and I can't find anyone that can do it so probably gonna have to do some find some place maybe like lloyd mats that does like custom work that would have a big catalog that they can choose from and find the color or something but uh the shop uh the original interior guy that i went to he uh threw this together i mean it wouldn't go with this because you can see how the piping looks but this is kind of what it would look like something like that but you can see uh, he just took some of the uh, material we were going to use for something else and just kind of kind of sewed it together so of course that uh, you know that little piece right there all that doesn't look good but this is how it would look you can see how it kind of brings everything else kind of together more you know, look, it, I think the interior would look better with a piped floor mat like that so I'm gonna be looking around for that. But an idea I just had was, I have another set of these right here, and I was thinking maybe if I can get uh, some type of uh, paint that bonds to rubber and paint it that color. Cause remember I found uh, some terracotta paint and it's a, uh, 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 I think Dupla Color makes it. And that's actually what I painted these door handles with because I couldn't find the color, but it's a, it's an exact match to these. But that uh, that paint is for multi-surface. So I might try that in a, I don't know, might see how it turns out. But being that this is rubber, I'd be, I should be able to get that paint off pretty easy if it doesn't work. But uh, other than that, uh, you can see right here, this is some of the stuff that I was talking about. Uh, to clean, this is what I cleaned the, uh, this is what I cleaned the uh, uh, the suede with before. And, th and these seats, when I first got them, they were real dirty. I still need to go over them now, of course, because you can see they got some stains. This wasn't really coming out before, like it's a burn or something, so I'm gonna have to color that with something. But uh, this got them real clean, it sprays on, and then you let it sit, you kind of work it in with like a real light bristle brush or a sponge, and it just kind of emulsifies and lifts the dirt out. And you could just, I, what I did was I just took my shop vac, and I just kind of sucked it out with that and let it dry rather than trying to pat it out because it would kind of push it back in. But I did that and that worked real good, but this needs, I'm gonna see uh, if any place can scotch guard these after I clean them. And that should help from keep them from getting dirty. Cause you can see the color and the suede and you know, so they would get dirty. So this is one of the products right here, Sonics. I actually found a interior shop that was selling this stuff. And this is part number you can see right there. Item number 0206141D dash seven five five and I, I can't remember if the guy said that a certain place he had this imported or something because this stuff is from Germany but you can look that part number up online 
or look up the name maybe on Amazon or eBay or something and find this stuff. You'll be able to find it. And then the other stuff that I want to tell you guys about was this die right here. Because like I said, uh, a lot of places could not match this color, not match the original color of the Chi Chi. Because these seats were redone and they're close but they're not like an exact exact match of the original uh, TT color but they're real close but this place is I found this on eBay and it's uh let me see I got it it's called uh, carleatherdye.com and it's a company from the UK right there all caps carleatherdye.com and then this is their contact these are the instructions they sent with it and so that's their contact right there but you can just email them and they'll get back to you but they have every single TT color and believe it or not that steering wheel when I got it it was the leather was in pretty good condition, but it was like a sun sun dye. So it was like a lighter, it was like a lighter tan when I first got it. And it had some wear on the top, of course, but I actually used this to get it back to that color. And you can see it, it's an exact match. And this stuff right here is so good. I used it on some spots on the brake handle. The brake handle was in good condition, but it has some spots that was starting to wear. And you can't even tell where I put it. But you can see some of the threading I have to clean, but well, some of the stitching, but you can't even tell where I use it at. And that's how good this stuff is, because they said they even tell you when you go to their site or, or they're listing in eBay, you can actually use this just for spots. And it's an exact, so I tried it, man, and it dries, and you can't even tell that you put it on there. So they mix this stuff for, uh, they have every color for the TT, but I think they might call it something else, because this bottle, it said uh, baseball moccasin, and I don't know if it's called moccasin from TT, I think it's called something else, terracotta or something, but... So basically, uh, if you find it on on uh, eBay, it's just a listing, and they had that color. And when I was ordering, they was like, "Well, what color do you want?" So I was like, it's the same color in the listing. They was like, "No, you have to let us know." So when you talk to them, if you guys get in contact with them, uh, just let them know what color interior has. So this is good for like a touch up, or if you want to redo a whole steering wheel. And that's what I did on this. I did. Uh, you apply it, they send you a sponge, and you apply it with the sponge. You do one coat, it's not gonna look perfect. You just let it sit, and I did like three coats, man, and I'm telling you, this thing came out good. So, uh, and it even has the feel of leather, too. It's soft, and it feels like leather. So I did try another one, man, and it, it felt like plastic, it was real bad. So this is one of the best ones I found for something like this if you can't find anybody that could do the color or maybe you don't want to spend the money to have a shop redo it, this is one route to go. And uh, they sell like some other stuff to go with. They sell like a glossifier to go with it because it comes out kind of flat. And I actually put some uh, conditioner over this to give it a little bit of sheen. But the original, like if you buy one of these cars, like when these cars came brand new, it didn't have all that sheen on it. It's actually kind of a flat look of the leather. So, but uh, I don't know if you go back uh, and look at some of my old videos for the TT. I had the idea of, uh, of course, I got these two uh, flat bottom TT wheels. And uh, so I was thinking about sending one to a shop to get rewrapped in this color and or with the suede and some of the perforated leather or something like that in the middle to kind of match the rest of the interior but what i was thinking since this steering wheel might not work unless i find the airbag 
is uh, you can see this one's in real bad condition and this one really just needs to be clean the leather's in real good condition it just needs to be cleaned real good and so what I was thinking was uh, maybe going over this steering wheel with this or that one and sending this one to the shop to get redone but what I was thinking was uh, just doing this portion the middle portion in the horn leaving that and that black and then uh, maybe the horn too I don't know but thinking about trying that I think that might look good but then uh, I don't some people might remember that I was saying the same thing about this steering wheel because this one is perforated already and the leather's in somewhat good condition. It's got some scuffs, but for the most part, it's in pretty good condition. So I was thinking about doing the center, the uh, doing the center this color and the, the horn and everything. You can see uh, right here on the horn, it has the uh, same dimples as a TT already. So I would just have to take that off, do this part silver, and they have these with blanks and take that off. So I could probably put a TT symbol in the middle or something like that and see how that comes out. And I want to run on the, the, the flat bottom wheels because when I drive, I pull the steering wheel all the way out and put the steering wheel all the way down. And that kind of helps with your shifting because as you're shifting, when you come off of the uh, the clutch, you know, your knees or, or thighs might be coming up and it might hit the bottom of the steering wheel. It also helps you get out the car easier without having to raise the uh, steering wheel. But uh, those are the two products and some of the ideas that I have. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think would be the best for the steering wheel on the interior. What like uh, which design or whatever, like if I should just do the middle, maybe in suede or leather on the, like perforated leather on the middle and then suede on the horn or something or all leather, I don't know. But uh, I wanna get one of these uh, flat bottom steering wheels done. Uh, they actually, the Mark II actually comes with, uh, with this same color, but I couldn't find them anywhere, anywhere. Like nobody has them. I guess you might have to look up, find a part number for it or something, but the Mark II TT does have the baseball interior in this same color, but I couldn't find that steering wheel anywhere. So anyway, uh, like I said, uh, kind of sucks that the uh, steering wheel is not going to work, but kind of like you guys, instead of uh, shooting a whole another video for a small update, I'm stitching this in to this video before the ending so it might seem kind of weird with the rest of the video going but I went ahead and did the uh, Mark 3 I mean the Mark 2 TT steering wheel that I had see I did you know of course you see I did just the sides in the middle and left the top black but uh and I put the uh, the floor mats in there just for reference to see how everything will look once I get it where I want it and uh, you see I put a TTS emblem on the steering wheel I think it came out pretty nice uh, but you know this is just for kind of a reference get for me to get my head around the way I would want it but uh this one does have the paddle shifters and of course they have the little extensions that you can put on them and this car is a manual so they'll be just for show but uh, they have them in carbon fiber. I don't have any other carbon fiber inside the car instead of this uh, this OSR uh, Mantis gauge. But uh, I don't know. I like it. But I'm thinking uh, maybe if I got one of the wheels where this was carbon fiber or do this in perforated leather and this in the perforated suede maybe. I don't know. But let me know what you guys think. Let's take a look from the other side. Yeah, it came out pretty nice. That little leather die uh, is all right. It's pretty good. And it's, uh, like I said, it's soft. It feels like leather. It seems pretty tough, so. But 
this part of the steering wheel, I think is uh, plastic. The horn is plastic, so it's stuck to it, but I had to do uh, more coats than I did on the, I think the leather, I did uh, three or four coats. And then the middle, I think I had to do uh, like one more coat of then when I saw it was like four or five. But it came out pretty good, so I think uh, I've seen some of these with the uh, the Mark III TT steering wheel. So I might see about one of those. I don't know, this looks good, I like it. But I'm thinking uh, maybe probably leave just this centerpiece black. But they do have a chrome ring that goes around this that'll kind of give it a little bit more depth. I've seen some of them. Matter of fact, I ordered one, it's coming from the UK. It was only like 30 bucks, but it's coming from the UK, so that'll be here later, but might change this. And they do also have a cover for this outside piece in real carbon fiber. And then they have also have a carbon fiber piece for this center piece and these right here in carbon fiber, but they're like, uh, they have that thick uh, coating over it. So I don't know how that would look, but uh, that's gonna be it. Let me know what y'all think. Back to the rest of the video. But kind of like the way the rest of it came out. Getting a little closer to, to it, to uh, having everything done, y'all. But let me know what you guys think and uh, what you think about the ideas. Or if you have any better ideas, just let me know. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.